hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Street Legal Racing Redline with another car build. Today I've got the Mazda MX-5. I saw I think the first well, when I came back to this game, people were suggesting I should should do a silly car build on the car that I own in real life. Unfortunately, there is a first generation MX-5 and there is a third generation MX-5 for this game. There isn't a second gen one. As far as I could find, I looked for quite a while and I can't find one. So I've gone <laughs> for the third gen uh, mx5 and it's actually been a little bit of a pain to work with as you can see uh, it's kind of hard to access certain bits so <laughs> for example trying to shunt the engine around if i want to get to the the oil pan thing to to do the, the maneuvering bit you have to actually take off the oopsie take off the something we take off the cover there we take off that bit we have to take out the pistons and then we have to get the fine tune tool and click in there until we find... Oh, I'm surprised I got that first time. Normally it's spam click until you eventually find it. And then you can move the engine around. It's a bit of a fiddle. <laughs> to get it to work took a while. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not the easiest of cars. Oh, that's that's an important bit. I think we need to put... Oh, <laughs> I like how we can put in the crankshaft bearing bridge last. Not sure that quite works. But there we go. The engine, uh, the engine is in. I've gone for a Dodge Hemi... V8 engine. Not the most powerful of engines if we go uh, under here. We have got 680 horsepower which is fairly sensible for for this game considering the last two vehicles I've had have had an awful lot more. I'm hoping that because it is a little bit more sensible, uh, okay 680 horsepower in MX-5 is still an awful lot, but it's a bit more sensible than uh, the previous cars. I'm hoping it will be quite easy to drive. I hope it will be nice and controllable and when it comes to trying to lap Sakuba, I'm hoping it'll be pretty good. Uh, we've got some various adjustable suspension. I had a bit of a fight with this as well. I put it on just to make sure everything would all work and uh, it's very hard to go and click on the, the shocks, the, the rear shocks. Um, if we, if we go, <laughs> go right, spin around and show you... Oh, spin! spin hmm, we are very sluggish at the spinning. God damn it. Um, yeah, the rear suspension, as you can see, it's kind of... Oh, hold on. If we, we have to look through the hole for the lights, and then you can just about see... Oh, there's the shock. There you go. You see the little yellow thing? <laughs> it's not the easiest car to work with, I'll be honest, on this one. So I hope once I put all of this on, I don't have to change anything, because I'm not sure I'm getting the springs ever off the back of the car. Uh, as far as brakes go, well, we don't have much choice on it. I've gone for the uh, Mitsubishi Evo brake discs. Uh, yet again, they're the best option that I had to work for this car. Wheels, uh, maybe a tad... I'm ne never sure about the wheels. But one of the things that uh, that I found with this game is, of course, once you stick on these great big tyres, in fact, on this car, it's okay. Often you'll stick on the tyres and then it'll be far too big for the wheel arches. For now, that scene... Uh, we could probably do with some bigger wheels, actually. They look a little bit... They look a little bit diddy. Uh, okay, we'll come back to that. I'm, I'm going to try and use a different set of tyres. I've gone for the soft compound tyres on this car and I'm hoping it doesn't roll over and fall over all the place. Uh, we're going to go for a hard top version. We've got some lights going on somewhere. Uh, we've got, I think I did put a roof on twice. Uh, we need a door. Do we have a door? Your your rear lights. We need some doors. There we go. We need to put on the doors before we can put on the wing mirrors. That's the ticket. And then we can have wing mirrors and then we're not going to have a bonnet on this car. It's not going to fit. We can have a roll cage. We can have you. We can have roll hoops as well. Double protection. A big wing. And we don't want that because that's a, a normal wing. There we go. We're going to have to get rid of the bonnet because it's not going to fit. And there isn't an option for a bonnet with a hole in it, as far as I'm aware. Hmm. Let's go have a look, actually. So we're going to need... Let's go have a look. I don't think there was a, a bonnet with a hole in. Uh, then there's some other parts that have accidentally got put in here. That uh, I, think, I think these are just read the parts named slightly wrong. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Okay. Never mind. Uh, we'll we'll back out of that. So there we go. That's what the MX-5 is going to look like. There isn't a, there isn't a bonnet with a holding as I, as I remember. Lights. We're going to need some lights. We're going to need some glass panels. That was the other stuff we need. Body. Yes, it is in here. Lights and windows. And we want MX-5 things, not the game's normal thing. So MX-5 windows. Front windscreen. Yes. We need some tail lights. And right. And wait. What? They were right headlight. Red. Right. Oh, yeah, they're headlights. Sorry, I can read. Left, yes, and left, yes. Do, don't know what any of that stuff is. Uh, sure, I'm just going to buy this and see what the hell it does. Uh, we've got front, oh, where was that? Uh, left and left, and I'll just buy all of this lot. And see what happens. Does it put them in, or does it break everything? If it breaks the game, I was going for a no-breaky-of-game session today. 
I don't know if that's going to happen. Do we? Ah, you can fit in there. That's just like sort of like smoked headlight. <laughs> yes, I want to keep it like that. We. <laughs> yes, we're going to have odd headlights. Yes, uh, I guess if we take that out, whoopsie, where's it gone? We can put it in. Yeah, so we can have smoked headlights or we can have yellow. No, I want one of each. I want one of each. It's more entertaining that way. Uh, it's like those dogs with different coloured eyes. Yes, that's what we shall have. And then we spin, spin, spin. God damn it. <laughs> we can have left and. Uh, uh, that's a headlight. And there we go. We can have. Then we can put in some. Whoopsie, some glass onto the car. Ah, there we go. Now it's looking like an MX-5 with a very, very big engine in it. Yeah, we definitely got to get some bigger wheels on this. They look a little bit too diddy. Uh, all right. Do, 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 do. Go off. Go. Off. Come on. Come on. There we go. We can get the wheels up. <laughs> Quite difficult. Oh God's sake! I swear these used to be quicker to spin. Whoops! I've now clicked out of the window. That was clever of me. I swear this was used to be quicker to spin this around. <laughs> I don't remember being such a pain. Go away, go away, go away. Right. Oh, I like caliber look a bit weird. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Whoops. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, the, uh, do, do, do we need any of that stuff? No, because we'll need to buy bigger tyres anyway. So that can go poof. Uh, running gear. That was the stuff that we needed. Wheels. So we were on 16. Should we try 18, perhaps? I think it might be a little bit too big. But never mind. Oh, they look nice. Let's go for these. Sure, let's see if these work. Um, please don't be ridiculously oversized. I think them with 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 tyres on, that'll probably look alright, if you ask me. Uh, running gear again, tyres. It was 18 that we had. So we go, ooh, there's, I've got lots of choices of bloody tyres now. I don't know what any of these... <laughs> don't know what all of these do. Uh, we can go for, for various sport tyres over here. I'm sticking to these ones, these control tyres. These, these have done me well in the past. Trying the soft compound tyre may be a bit crazy. We will see what happens, though. And it was 18. There we go. Soft compound tyres. These were pretty good when I had them on. Uh, the, the, the hard compound tyre worked on the Toyota. It worked absolutely fine. There. Now it looks a little bit like a monster. Uh, it'll do, though. It looks a bit like a monster at MX-5. Now, if I dro there was a way. I remember there was a way of driving this around the garage. But I can't remember how to do it. If we drop you down, please don't crash the game. This can sometimes be a bit buggy. So... Please don't crash, please don't crash the game. Ah, there we go. We're down. Ha <laughs> ha! I think this was maybe a little bit big, but screw it, I'm having it. Um, <laughs> now, how did we test? Test engine and steering. Can't test. Ah, we need a battery. That is an important thing that we need for a car to be. Oh, we'll need all the interior, won't we, bug? I forgot about that. Uh, okay, we'll have to finish this off with accessories. Accessories, that's what it is. Somewhere in here should be. Battery! Ha! Ah, there we go, that's important. You can go in there. Oh, and before we test, we have to yeah, and get get the interior steering wheels. What have we got in the way of options? We can have an MX-5 steering wheel, but I'm probably not going to, to use that one. We can use... Oh, do we still have the V8 supercar? We could go for a V8 supercar steering wheel. I don't know what, what, <laughs> what ones I've got in here. And uh, they look like the normal standard. Oh, got some Momo steering wheels going on. Um, <laughs> I don't know half the stuff I've downloaded and added in here. Hmm. We'll go for a Momo racing steering wheel. Sure, why not? We haven't used one of them before. Dash is no. Sometimes extra stuff comes up in there, but I don't think it will for here. Seats. Right, what have we got in the way of choice for the seats? We've got MX-5 seats, or we can use one of these custom ones. Do we reckon... Ooh! We can use a V8 supercar seat. Will a V8 supercar seat work? That is the big question, or will it spaz the hell out? Uh, no, it spaz the hell out, as expected. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is my driving position. That is where I shall sit in the car. Hmm. Uh, oh dear, car's unhappy. Please don't crash. No, I'm not even going to press that button. That's just asking for trouble, pressing that button. Uh, <laughs> especially where the car is jumping around. Okay, and that is always ambitious. All right, well, do we reckon any of... any? Do we reckon this seat here will work? This looks kind of cool. Please don't, please don't break the car. Please don't break the car. And uh, no, it broke the car. Bugger it. Um... I don't want to, oh, we've got to go back to go to car lock. Yeah, this is the way to reset the vehicle. Uh, possibly? Hey, we didn't crash, and we're in between the orange mobiles. All right, go back. Now, please don't crash. Please don't crash. Yes, it didn't crash. That's good. That's much better. Okay, I think we're going to have to go with the fairly boring MX-5 seats. Yeah, we're going to have to go for you. Uh, do, do, do. I mean, I'll be honest. <laughs> 
It looks like the seat you'd find in an old rover, but never mind. That is going to be the <laughs> the seat for me Mazda. I'm ashamed kind of the V8 supercar one. Right, we'll get rid of them too because we don't need them. I think we've got all of the parts. Oh, painting time. Again, this can sometimes crash the game as well. We shall have to paint you orange. Somewhere page 25 is orange. Uh, what have we got in the way of options? Uh, we haven't really got a huge amount of bits that we could paint. There's not, <laughs> not a huge amount of options really on this car for, for having orange and black car. Unless we were to paint like the, the doors perhaps black. How would that look? Let's see. Three. No, that looks kind of stupid. We could paint the... Again, no, nah, you could paint the sort of like the body black, but that, that doesn't really doesn't really work. Sure, okay, let's go for a di completely different colour. Shall we go for a, uh, sort of maybe a little bit too silly a blue? Here we go. We'll go for a blue Mazda since I can't have since I can't have a uh, a, <laughs> a multicoloured one. Actually, what if I can find my MX-5's colour of blue? Then no, that's still not quite dark enough. Hmm, I don't think it has it unfortunately. Cause my car's no, nah, it's not going. It doesn't have it. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to have a blue MX-5 anyway. Bugger it. Uh, do, 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 around there somewhere. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't have it really the same colour as mine. It's not got the right shade. But never mind. There we go. MX-5. Big V8 in it with some big racing tyres. A huge wing for all of the downforce and a roll cage for when things go wrong. Now, we're going to find out how quickly it can go around the Sakuba test track. Yes, we will We will test this out, and let's see if I can remember the bloody controls for this game. Right, our time, I think it's 1 minute 3, it should come up saying what the time is. Sukuba, yes, let's go for time trial. We've got 4 laps to try and beat the, the time set by the Ute. The Ute had 4,000 horsepower. This has 700, but it should be a hell of a lot more controllable. That is the hope. Uh, and for some reason it has lost the time. That's always fun. Hmm, okay. Oh, we don't stop as well. We don't stop as well as I had perhaps initially had, had hoped with the... Oh, okay. <laughs> Soft tyres were probably not the best idea. God damn it, now it's gone back to being a rolly mobile. Uh, brake, 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 brake and turn. And then if we put the power down here, yeah, we go up onto our side. Okay, definitely the hard compound tyres were the better choice to have. Whee! <laughs> oh. I, I thought we might be able to get away with it with an MX. Uh, it's not. It's not worked. It's not worked at all. Fuck it. <laughs> Soft compound tyres do not work. Uh, back to garage. I think we lost a headlight. Oh, we're missing an eye. Uh, <laughs> so I think if it falls, like if the bumper falls off the car, it's lost. If it stays on, you can repair it. So now we're now we've lost an eye. God damn it. Oh. Um. Hmm. Right. Okay. We need to. Oh crap. We need to do that so the car doesn't fall over and fall in the pit. Uh, then we will get rid of these tyres. What were they? 18s, I think? Sure. Um, we'll get rid of these. They were 18. Buy the... Let's see. Buy the hard compound tyres. Then hopefully it won't fall over when we go around a corner. Um, <laughs> somewhere over here. Alright. Uh, oh, there is a medium compound? I, didn't, I thought I looked for a medium. I couldn't find one. Shall we give these... Sure, let's give these a try. Maybe these will be a good... Because I mean, if you have a softer compound tyre, you will have more grip. It will be able to heat up faster etc. Uh, but it falls over. When you have too much grip on here, you fall over. So, hmm. Okay. I'm not going to buy the eye just in case we fall over. Okay, because I don't... I don't <laughs> oh, wait, we should probably repair everything. Uh, which one? Repair car? That one. Repair car. 200 and... There we go. We've fixed the wing mirrors. Oh, I never painted the wing mirrors. Did I miss them? Uh, sure. Was it that colour? There we go. We can get rid of the, the scratch mark on the roof where we fell over. Right. Let's try again. Let's take the Mazda back out at Sakuba. And do, do, there we go. Right. I'm annoyed that it's lost the best time. I don't know why it's done that. Because I, no, I didn't pay attention. I didn't think about it. Uh, <laughs> it was 1 minute 3 something or other. So if we if we can go if we can go in under 1 minute 3, then I'll say the Mazda is doing well. Oh dear, we can't really stop for turn 1. Have we fallen over when going around a corner? No, we have. Oh, it lifted up. This is better. This is much better. Oh, and, and I'm not sure it's massively amount. Oh dear, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit unhappy there, car. I, I think it's it's better. It hasn't fallen over yet. Can it take this corner here with any vigor, or does it fall over? Oh, no, it's about on the cusp of falling over. Oh no, no, it's still too. <laughs> it's still <laughs> tires different. Too much grip. Far, far, far. Okay, we'll go back to the we'll go back to the trusted tires. God damn it! This is why I don't experiment. 
with too much. <laughs> all, all our eyes are still in place. Okay, we will get the tires off. We will then re we will get the other <laughs> we will get the eye back, and then we will go. Oh, thank you, game, for not glitching out. I, 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 it let me remove the tires while moving the car. That was kind of it. <laughs> right, we need uh, body lights, and we needed. Oh crap. Uh, sure, I'm gonna buy both of these because I've forgotten my weight. No, wait, this is the one we need. We need right. Yes, sure. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I forgot what side. There we go. I forgot what side of the car it was that was busted. Um, <laughs> tires, tires. They're what we needed. Uh, somewhere over here we will have. Hey, that's a bit too far. 18 hard compound. There we go. Now you should not fall over. If you do fall over, then we're. It's the car's fault. Okay? Or maybe. I don't know why. If it does fall over now. It shouldn't, okay? If, 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 if it falls over now, we're in a lot of trouble. We'll fix up anything that was busted on it. You got uh, it only costs $111 to repair a car that I rolled over. Hmm. Uh, sure. Sure, I believe that. I can't bother to paint it because we're probably going to crash it. Um, Sakuba, take it. Time trial. Okay. Okay. We will get a lap done with this car. Hopefully we will get a decent a decent lap out of it eventually. I also believe that this is four-wheel drive, I've just remembered. I think this mm, the gearbox, I think, was a four-wheel drive one. I now can't remember. No, oh, even this is lifting up. Okay. Maybe the car has got so much grip that it's a problem. Hmm, that makes things uh, interesting. First car since I've been back playing this, I've had problems. This is what used to, all the all the builds, everything I did on this game used to end up just being a car that fell over permanently when it went around a corner. Uh, it, it lifts up, this Mazda. It's lifting up, but it's not quite enough. Oh, we are not stopping at all! Hello, bull! Um, <laughs> it's not quite enough to put it up onto its roof, though. Which is good. How much speed have we got? Oh, I think we need to extend the ratios a little bit. It's maxing out at 133. Oh, and then we get so much understeer through here. All of the understeer, and then on the exits, we slide a little bit. Eh, it's not too much. We have done a new record, though. That's very quick. That's... Uh, <laughs> the MX-5 is, going, is under a minute on the opening lap. That's what actually having usable grip does. The, the, see, the other cars had too much power. This is a much more sensible option if it doesn't fall over. Uh, right, I, I might as well just leave it in a high gear. The gear ratios in this are far, far too short. But it's still, <laughs> still going to be far quicker than everything else we've had around here. Ooh, again, it was lifting up. It wanted to. It really did want to go. Ooh, and then stop that in time for this corner. Look at that. I haven't gone off and played with the wall. We are very slow through there, but I haven't played with the wall this time. And then we boot it down the back straight. I'm not sure how quick the other cars got. I think the problem with well, with the other high-powered cars is this is actually going at a higher speed because I can use what power I do have down there. I can get to 130 or 140 miles an hour through here. Even though we're bouncing off the limiter, uh, we can actually get to that speed, whereas the other cars simply can't because they spend so much time spinning the wheels. And then we go, oh, curb, whoo! <laughs> We saved it, it's going to become an impromptu will it roll if we're not careful. Uh, <laughs> around here. Hmm, okay. Whee, and please stop. Brakes are not quite so good. It doesn't really stop particularly at all well. But, well, I think it's more that it's a very, very quick car in between the corners and it's going faster than I'm expecting. So I'm kind of braking with the car, with me expecting the car to be travelling slower, if that makes sense. Often the case with very fast cars, you think the brakes are terrible, but it's just your expectations of the braking point. That, uh, that is the problem. Okay, fire it out of this corner. We've got one more lap after this. I don't think this one here is going to be is going to be quicker. We shall, ooh, we shall find out though. We try and be neat through this final corner. It's actually quite hard because there is a lot of understeer. It's, it's literally it has understeer, it has chronic understeer, or it has chronic oversteer. There's not an in-between section of this, or it's on its side and going around a corner on two wheels. Ah, bugger it! About I've braked myself into the first corner. Well, that's a slight shame. Maybe we can make it up if we're quick. Oh, please stop, please stop, please stop. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a good final lap. It also seems to just lock the brakes up. Doesn't even know what to do. It either doesn't stop or it locks the brakes up. There's the <laughs> they, they are your choices with this. Oh, it slid. It slid around a corner and oh, here we go. We'll get that stopped. And now we've got understeer and then if we give it a bit of welly, we have a little bit of oversteer. These are definitely the best tyres to have 
you definitely got to go for these tyres because uh, it, 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 there is a small risk. It's sort of like a fours of four risk of rolling over really at this track. You know, you can you can hit a curb. It will lift the car up if you aren't a little bit careful. Oh, just a little well sod it. We're going to boot it. Hey, <laughs> new fastest lap, fifty six eight. <laughs> That's pretty damn quick. I mean, the front bumper is slightly scuffed where I crashed it into a wall. It's just a small amount crashed into the wall on the MX-5, but that's by far the quickest car. See? Actually having a kind of sensible, I say kind of sensible, I mean it's still an awful lot of horsepower, but it was a more sensible horsepower, made the car usable. It was actually usable and set a decent lap time, any lap time under a minute at Tsukuba is pretty damn good. Right, the MX-5 is certainly the quickest car we've had. Now we're going to go and play the weight game with it, just because it's funny. <laughs> I've forgotten what the what the thing to beat was. Never mind, who cares? It's just for laughs. The car will probably get broken, if I'm honest. Uh, <laughs> last time I got very lucky with the weight bouncing bouncing off the fence and going over my car. This time, I'm not so sure we will be lucky. I'm just going to make sure that I've got the difficulty uh, option. There we go, we'll put the difficulty option up that way. I thought I'd done that, apparently not. Difficulty on this game is nothing to do with any AIs or stuff. The difficulty changes how much your car is damaged in collisions and there is a seriously good damage model on here last time you only saw it a tiny bit because the weight bounced over my car this time well I'm hoping I can keep going for a while uh, but I'm inevitably going to crash it to fail the weight game the chances are it's going to be because of a crash and uh, well let's face it when it's dropping sort of many tons weight on you that crash is normally quite big so <laughs> hmm okay right let's hit this thing over here and look Yes, I know, your car will probably be smashed up. Right, let's get... Oops, it put me in neutral, that was fun. Right, let us let us get going. This should be a lot more stable and a lot easier to avoid stuff. It is a small, lightweight MX-5. They're good at, uh, at making sharp turns, sort of turn, changing direction very quickly as well. Uh, we don't quite have the same speed of the Ute, but I think, to be honest, this is a lot, it's a lot more usable, the speed that you have in this. It's not... Uh, oops, you're not just constantly fighting the wheel spin. In this car, so oh crap, we're not going. No, let's not go over there. Uh, let's go and play by the trees. The trees could probably say, "Oh dear!" If you do get it sliding, you can just see it starting to lift up. It is. Ooh, let's not go over there. If we go, if we get it really sideways, it does just start to lift up a little bit. But I'm not. I'm not planning on doing that for too much. There's plenty of grip in this car. Uh, you shouldn't really be sliding it too much. Hey, at the moment, things are going fairly straightforwardly, and this is not being too challenging. See, when I was fighting with the ute constantly, just to get it to drive normally, not fighting with this so much. Oh, crap, that wasn't coming down quite where I thought it was. <laughs> Slightly misjudged that one. Well, you're, I'm safe from that. That's going to fall over there. <laughs> yeah, my perception is te tested as well here, sort of distance, etc. Okay, apart from that, though, you see, it, there's, there's just not been any real scares. I can travel this at 130 miles an hour. I've got no problems with keeping the car under control. Whereas if I was doing this with the Ute or the Toyota, it would be manically everywhere and sideways. This is much nicer. The end of fun. This was about the point where the the Ute started to struggle and died fairly quickly. How long can we get to level 5 with the MX-5? I think we probably can, to be honest. But so far, we're not having... Ooh, understeer. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the big understeer moments, look at this go! It's a great car. Oh crap, 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 crap! No! <laughs> ah -ha. More speed! We're still in it! We're still in it! We're still oh dear! Ooh. Where's reverse? Where's reverse? Where's reverse? Uh, end of. Oh. <laughs> um. It's still working! Oh dear. It got a bit of a wobble on. It's got a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe it. I survived the first one, but I couldn't get it going again. That's the problem once you get up that high. They drop so quickly that the chance after you've clipped one, then you, the likelihood is you're in trouble. Uh, we have got a wobbly wheel. Just looking... Well, that's not a good angle. That yellow thing, that's the, the shock absorber. That's not a good angle to have a shock... To be fair, the wheel shouldn't be on the car at that particular... <laughs> <laughs> the door. <laughs> We've got a magic levitating door. Uh, the boot is crushed. The front, the front bumper is crushed because this car though has a fairly, fairly sizable frame. One of the, like, the biggest frames I've seen on a car here, like the the basic frame. Uh, it doesn't quite look as bad as it could do. The front bumper is 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 messed up, and that hat. 
<laughs> I've never seen it do that with the suspension before. I've never seen it have like a wonky wheel or a broken wheel. That's pretty cool. See, damage model on here, incredibly good for the time. Hell, this is better than, than Forza 5, better than all the Gran Turismo's. Uh, BeamNG is one of the very few games that, that beats this, really. <laughs> on damage front. Yeah. God damn it. It's, it's certainly a hell of a lot easier to drive. Than the use. My depth perception let me down a couple of times there. Oh, I've lost I've lost the same eye again. The, <laughs> the smoked headlight likes to stay in there. <laughs> Bugger it. Well, there we go. That is it for for this, uh, this, this car build. MX-5 goes quickest. At Sakuba uh, is a damn good car, actually. Much more sensible with the, with this <laughs> this map more power. Much more drivable, much more usable vehicle. Uh, however, that is it for today. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.